Hello everyone, welcome to my Paraview beginner tutorial. So in this video, I am going to show how to visualize different variables in your file and also how to visualize your mesh. So basically, we are going to look into these three drop to no uh, icons. So to visualize different variables, you just click this one and you see all the variables available in your file. So in this file, we have pressure, shear stress and velocity. So we are going to visualize velocity first and if you select velocity by default then this uh, icon uh, en gets enabled and then here you see we, are by we have a magnitude by default and if you want to visualize individual component you can select that component and here we have two ways to visualize the elements so here we have points surface and surface with edges so what we see now is only the surface and if you activate the surface with the edges then you will see the elements yeah we go as you see here we have a causal element here and then as we go towards the cylinder we have final and final elements and we have uh, totally uh, four refinement levels and to visualize the elements more clear if i will go to just a solid color we change the variable from velocity to solid color then we should be able to see the elements more clearly. Yeah, here we go. So now I can also zoom in near the cylinder to see. Wow, okay. So this test case have five refinement levels. So we have one more refinement much closer to the cylinder. So one more thing I like to mention here is our simulation framework, APES, which is Adaptable Poly Engineering Simulator, is based on Octree data structure. So uh, every time we refine our element, uh, we always have uh, eight elements. So uh, basically we have only a cubical elements and when you refine a cubical elements, we end up in eight uh, cubes. So if you go near the cylinder, if you are near the geometry, you see we have a staircase approximation. So this is uh, due to this uh, uh, octree data structure. Mm, and we have kind of a structured grid near the cylinder okay so furthermore uh, i'd like to show you a few more things so i'll zoom out okay so here so you can the the representation that you want to have surface surface with edges you can also control it in the properties window and also the color and you can control the opacity uh, And I'm interested in the axis. Okay. So yeah, so see, this is sometimes pretty useful to show your axis. Now it's showing the axis for the cylinder. So I just go to the channel and say show axis. Yeah, so that's a nice feature and one more thing the background color you can also change it here so you don't can do it in both ways so you can do it either in the para view preference or in here in the background okay so the data we have in this uh, pvt file are cell data so if you want to uh, plot some streamlines contours basically we need a point data so we need to convert this cell data to point data. So I will sh in the next video, I will show you how to create, uh, convert this cell data to point data. And if you like this video, uh, please click like icon below and press the bell icon to subscribe to this channel for more Paravi videos and showcase videos of Apes simulation framework. Thank you. Bye bye.